What's up you guys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today I got a fun one. I want to talk about 7 trends that I personally think just need to stop in 2017. So the first one is highly distressed clothing. And the key term there is highly. I have no problem if you want to wear some distressed clothing and a couple tears here for a disheveled look. If that's what you want, that's fine. But when you're wearing clothing that looks like it's falling apart and only one fourth there, I think we got a problem there. Not only that, for some reason, the more holes and the more tears and the more it looks like it's falling apart, the pricier it can get. Number two, joggers. Now before you go down there and write a hate comment, because you probably wear them and I wear them myself, I do want to clarify that I think it's a certain type of jogger. So I'm completely fine with tailored joggers for the gym or any type of like athletic or casual wear. That's fine. What I don't agree with is more of those dressy joggers that I call it, where you grab classic casual trousers like what would be a suit pant or what would be a chino and you turn them into a jogger. And it's like they say, if it's not broken, why are you gonna fix it? I think the chino looks perfect as it is. I think the jeans look perfect as they are. And I think trousers look perfect as they are. Don't turn them into joggers. Number three is man buns. So we have seen the man buns since 2014 and people for some reason are still wearing this thing. Or let me include the top knot in here because it's the same thing. Now, again, it's a trend. If you want to do it, it's fine. But in my personal opinion, I just don't find it versatile. Not only is it just an overplayed trend that I would recommend to not jump in the bandwagon, but it's not a good versatile look. I think there are much more classic and versatile hairstyles that you can wear both casually and dressed up in a suit than a man bun, like a fade or a classic side part or a slick back. Now before we keep going, I do want to talk about a brand that I really love and the sponsor of today's video and that is Anson Belts. So what Anson Belt does is produce really high quality holeless belts, has an incremental slider in the back that allows you to, to seamlessly put on a belt and adjust it to almost any waist size and with your fluctuations through the day. So if you've never checked out ants and belts before, I really recommend the three strap and two buckle system. Since the buckles are interchangeable, it basically gives you six different belt options and a whole lot of versatility. So I'm gonna have it linked below so you guys can check it out. I'm telling you guys, you're really gonna love it. Number four is useless side zippers. See, to me, Menswear again should be functional. Everything you wear, everything that your clothing has should be for a purpose. But could someone explain to me what are the zippers on this t-shirt for or the zippers on this sweater on the side for? They really serve no purpose and I personally think it just doesn't look good. Number five is wearing knockoffs. Now wearing knockoffs have, has been a problem for years now, but I think especially 2016, 2015, it's kind of gotten out of hand when people are actually wearing fakes and not even caring about it. And really, I think the what really brought this about was Adidas with their Yeezy line. The sneaker is so highly coveted and so unreachable to regular people that they turn to the only route they think is possible and it's, oh, let me just buy a fake one. To the point that any outlet mall you go to or even some malls have kiosks selling fake Yeezys. So I think a trend for 2017 that should stop is people wearing replica or fake things. Honestly, if you like the style so much, find yourself some other type of prime knit sneaker that closely resembles it instead of buying something that's fake. Even better, Adidas did you guys a solid and dropped a tubular model that looks almost identical to the Yeezy and you can buy that for like a hundred bucks and again, you won't be fake. Number six is another hairstyle trend and this is the hard part. I think this one went up at the same rate as the man bun around 2014. It was very popular and people I see still are doing that hard part. And what the hard part is, is where you ask the barber to basically shave a line into your head to give you a side part. Now, two reasons why I just don't think this is a good idea. One, it just looks too perfect. The great thing about a classic side part is that it doesn't have to look perfect, right? It can look a little bit messy if you want it to be or you can make it extremely perfect if you want that to be, but it's it's your skill set when you comb yourself and you, when you style your hair, that will define the straightness of, your, of that part. And the second thing why it's not a good thing is that the maintenance involved with it. You, pro you pretty much have to go to the barbershop every week or every two weeks to clean that lineup so it looks clean. Otherwise, your hair is probably gonna look like a mess. And finally, number seven is long line tees. Now, out of all the trends that I don't like, I think this is the least bad one since that trend of long line t-shirts is casual by nature and I understand that. But other than it not just making you look proportionate, keep in mind, it makes your torso look super long 
and your legs look super short and stumpy, every time I see that trend, I just can't help to think what we as a generation are gonna say when we look back two, three years from now, how ridiculous that trend was. I mean, think about it. Long oversized t-shirts isn't something that's new. And finally, quick bonus and trend number eight that I think we should just stop doing for the better of menswear is wearing belts with holes. Now, this one in particular is not a trend. It's more of just a norm that we've always done. We've always worn belts with holes. But in my personal opinion, something like the Anson belt, like I talked in the beginning, that has no holes or the hole is belt, it's a much more functional and cleaner approach to the belt system that I think we should adopt and make the new norm. And really, try yourself some of these holeless belts and you'll see why it's just significantly more functional to menswear than its older alternative. All right guys, so that's it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did or agreed with any of the trends, I wanna hear down below if I missed any trends that you think should die. Really curious to see what you guys are saying and if you liked it, don't forget to drop a like down below. 